What do you think is K like Murray the K or K Y? Or K with an E. There couldn't be more than a thousand variations in New York City. That's K A Y E. Five boroughs. This must be 500 more names. Well, what do you want me to do? Start with Manhattan. Someone was hired to kill a Mr. K. The hitman went to 315 Jacob's place. You live at 315 Jameson place. So? My husband and I are active in the Reform Democrats, Mr. Robinette. We helped found the Carnegie Hill Alternative School. We were once mentioned in passing on page six, but I doubt any of that qualifies us for assassination. What kind of work did your husband do, Mrs. K? Real estate. What? He's guilty of gentrification? I'm afraid it's going to be much worse than that. A month ago, Edward M. K. deposited three hundred thousand into his corporate checking account. But he hasn't made a sale since August. And the kid who did the hit said he mentioned three hundred thousand. K fronted as a buyer of an apartment for Ingrams. 300,000 cash. It comes to closing, K doesn't show up with the money. And he stiffed her, madam. He stiffed a drug dealer. There's your motive. The kid shot up the wrong apartment. Unbelievable. Bridger's baby is dead. There's a 14-year-old hit man went to the wrong place. Do you understand these people? They live better than 99% of humanity, and they have to steal from drug dealers. Ingrams will go up for murder one way or the other. If Mr. K decides to testify, real estate fraud, not much to work with. Maybe K has a conscience. Yeah, maybe he houses the homeless in his basement, but I wouldn't count on it. I sold a nice two-bedroom on West End Avenue to a young black man. That's a crime? When you steal his money, it is. What's stealing? We had a little problem with the closing papers. You know, this uh, Chamber of Commerce routine is getting on my nerves. In 1986, you were arrested for cocaine possession. Ingram's your dealer? An arrest with no conviction is not relevant here. It isn't? You do a little coke, you figure, what the hell? It's a victimless crime. You use drug money to buy real estate. You think that makes it clean? Look, I... An 11-month-old baby died because of your sins, Mr. K. If you want to talk about his testimony... What did you do with the $300,000? You didn't cheat some yuppie banker. Mr. Ingrams, he doesn't sue. He hires a hitman. You haven't mentioned any incentives for cooperation. No. Well, how is this? If your client doesn't start talking now, I'll tear his life apart. Real estate boards, clients, skeletons in the closet, light a day, guaranteed. Ingrams came to me with 300,000 he wanted cleaned. I was in the middle of a redevelopment project that was dying for an infusion of cash. So you used Ingram's money? I thought I could turn it around, get his money in and out quickly. Market went soft. Lenders foreclosed on the project. And the $300,000 went to them. Did Ingrams threaten you? Oh, no. No, no. I point my finger at him. I'm dead. You help us out, we'll put him away. And if you don't? And if you don't testify, he'll get you sooner or later. I'd rather it was later. Well, you made your pitch, Mr. Stone. And it didn't get through? I'd rather go to a loan shark for the 300 grand than take on Michael Ingrams.
Drinking room's up. We have enough to charge him. Without case testimony? Come on, Paul. Hume's is a maggot. We can crush him. He doesn't know Kay won't testify. We get him to plead manslaughter, he's off the street. At least Kay lives long enough to change his mind. Sold. People versus Michael Ingrams. The charges are murder in the second degree, manslaughter in the first degree, attempted murder in the second degree, and assault in the first degree. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty. On all counts, Your Honor. I'm serving grand jury notice upon defense counsel, Your Honor. Do the people wish to be heard on bail, Mr. Robinette? Your Honor, as a multiple prior felony offender, and a convicted narcotics trafficker. Mr. Ingrams faces mandatory life. The people request he be held without bail. No, Counselor, I believe a high bail is appropriate in this case. Name a figure. The people ask $1 million, Your Honor. So ordered. We wanted the whole package, Adam. We delivered so far. Well, this Ingram's hood walks on a technicality. All your good work is bupkis. Offer a man to. He engineered the death of an infant, for heaven's sake. People will be outraged. People will forget this outrage as soon as the next outrage hits the front page. The winter boy isn't the only innocent victim in New York City. Man to, and I go for the max on sentencing. Forget it, Stone. You don't come running with your hat in your hand from a position of strength. You call this a position of strength, Counselor? We're offering a deal so we can wrap this up. But if you want to play games... What games? You got the unsubstantiated testimony of a little psycho can't shoot straight. Let's get something straight here, Mr. Stone. I'm not in short pants. T-Ball's testimony isn't enough to convict me. Probably not, but Ned Kay's will. Ned K? He won't mess with my thing. I'm going back to my cell. OK, so it's not an even bet. Even. We'll give you 20 to 1. So K stole his money, but does the jury believe he'd kill him? Ingrams is a drug dealer. Doesn't look like a drug dealer. You want me not to go to trial? Mr. K is still a question mark. What do you got on his finances? Is there a federal tax charge? The IRS. Uh, uh, we do not let tax evaders walk. If it's major fraud, he goes to jail. Come on, Sam. You can still make an example of him. No, never forget about it. Go away. Take his money. Put him in the poorhouse. Treble penalties. But don't send him to jail. <sighs> what do you get? A dealer and a killer off the street. Okay, but I want it in writing in letters eight feet high. When they go for my neck, I want yours in the noose with me. Tax fraud, Mr. Morton, and your client goes away for 10 years. 10 years in a federal country club? I can work on my tennis game. It's better than being dead. Suppose I convince the IRS not to prosecute. I'll bite. Suppose you do. They take every dime. You don't even keep the dishwasher. But if you testify, you can move to Nebraska the day the trial is over. You son of a bitch. You set this up. The deal is good for 15 seconds. I keep the house in Sag Harbor. No, you don't. Ten seconds. Mercedes. They take the Mercedes. Five seconds. <laughs> 